Hello, my name's Amy Jenkins. I'm a principal in the dispute resolution team here at Russell Kennedy and the head of the family law team. There are many benefits of having a binding financial agreement. If you are commencing a relationship or you're within a relationship at the moment, whether that's a de facto relationship or a marriage, one of the biggest benefits of having a binding financial agreement is that it provides certainty to both you and your partner in the event that you were to separate. I find that when I'm helping clients navigate separation, one of the things that most clients say to me is that they wish that they had had a discussion about how things would be divided when things were going well within their relationship. And having a financial agreement provides parties with the opportunity to do that. The second benefit of having a financial agreement is that there is a huge saving in terms of legal fees spent. Um, proceedings uh, for property division after a breakdown of any relationship are expensive and the relatively minor cost of a binding financial agreement being created either prior to or during a relationship are going to be far smaller in comparison. The third benefit is the emotional benefit um, obtained in having a binding financial agreement. Often negotiations about financial agreements provide the parties with the opportunity to discuss the financial position that they're in now and where they want to be in the future. Those discussions are more than likely in my experience positive ones and ones that leave parties having a greater knowledge about their spouse, their financial position and where they are heading. The emotional toll of having a property division at the conclusion of a relationship and having proceedings, um, if they're necessary, is huge. And that is one of the biggest benefits of having a financial agreement in place. The last benefit that is worthwhile noting is that financial agreements can also provide parties with guidelines of the financial conduct that they will engage in during a relationship. For instance, they can make provision for how bills are to be paid on any joint property that's owned. And that can alleviate arguments during the relationship because it means those issues are tackled head on and usually towards the beginning of the relationship. For further information, uh, please contact either myself or any of the members of the family law team.